Good morning, everyone. Uh, our work is about has been named lookup. This work is co-done by Tsinghua University and the University of Science and Technology of China. I'm being from Tsinghua University. Uh, in my today's talk, I will uh, give a brief introduction first, and then uh, describe our algorithm and the structure. And next, I will uh, highlight some important implementation issues, uh, followed by experimental results. And finally, I will conclude my work. The so first background, name lookup is a well-established topic. Uh, it's widely used in uh, search engine and uh, database, and as well as network security area. However, we have met some new research challenges. We apply it into CCN scenario. CCN means uh, content century networking. It is proposed as a clean slate uh, future internet network architecture. One of its key features is to use name to identify each piece of data rather than use IP address to locate the end host devices. So CCN routers for word packets by looking up uh, its name against a foreign table. To achieve has been name uh, lookup uh, has many difficulties I will explain later. But first, let's have a quick look at uh, the naming in C CCN. Although it's not standardized um, for its specification, however, we can use UIL style and name uh, to build a name, uh, name table. Here is an example for uh, Google Maps. Uh, we can see uh, a CC name looks like a hierarchical structure, which composed of uh, components uh, separated by the slash. There are two high-level requirements for CCN name lookup. First is language prefix matching. Second is uh, it has a strict uh, lookup latency requirement. Besides, we have some detailed requirements for the name lookup. Um, um, uh, yeah, for name lookup. First is uh, the name is much more complex than IP address. It uh, consists of data and characters with variable lengths and no upper bound. Second is the name table uh, could be uh, extremely large. Here's compression. The current IP table is around 400k prefix entries. However, the existing active domain name has uh, gone beyond 100 million uh, uh, website. So roughly estimation, the name table could be two to three orders magnitude larger than the IP lookup table. The third one is uh, CC name lookup need to handle a fast update. This is because besides the normal topology and policy modification, CC lookup need to uh, operate another kind of uh, update. That's the content publishing and deletion, which will uh, trigger fast update. The last is high speed uh, lookup. So, fishing so big challenges, we have to work on both the design level innovation and the implementation, implementation level uh, re-engineering. So I will uh, describe our dis, uh, algorithm and this uh, structure. Uh, recall to the requirement for CC name lookup, uh, it is required language prefix matching in order to guarantee the language person prefix matching, we need to uh, design an proper uh, this writer to represent the name table. Here we choose the character try. However, traversing the character try will consume you much more time. So in order to fasten the lookup speed, we turn to design another kind of this writer that's a two-dimensional table. We call it STT. It's uh, state, state transition and uh, table. We have the most left column records the number of uh, states. The most top level uh, row records the input characters. By this, we can find the next state transition um, by only one memory access. So, SCT is easy to build and fast, 
but it is too much uh, memory consuming because usually the STT is much more sparse. For this purpose, we try to convert STT into uh, uh, another kind of data structure called ATE that's a line a transition array by calculating its offset plus input character size called a value. ATE is a tight table. Uh, it's fast and reduced memory co occupation, but it has two disadvantages. First is time consuming to build a large scale table. Second is it does not support uh, incremental update. So recall uh, the uh, fast lookup. Uh, we design a uh, multiple stride critical try. Here is example of two stride critical try. For this try, we, uh, at each time we can eat two characters. Uh, we can map uh, the sli a, a slash into the AT uh, table. However, given the D stride character try, each state may have two power of eight multiple eight uh, transition status. So this makes ATE cannot well support multiple thread correct try. So for this purpose, we turn to design another kind of data structure called multi-ATE. It's the idea to separate the whole ATE into many small uh, ATEs. Here in this example, we match A slash and AB into the first uh, ATE. But they uh, the potentially uh, has some confliction. It, when we, we mapping the uh, B, B, C into the first table, there is a conflict. To in, involve the confliction, we uh, turn to store the B, C into the, another table. So we have M, A, T, uh, that's fast, and it, it greatly uh, compressed the memory occupation. Uh, besides, it is easy to manage and, and, and build. The more important, it supports a in fast incremental update. The implementation, we use the general PC server plus the GPU uh, board as our uh, platform. First, we mapping the name table into multi-thread correct try, and then we convert try into uh, MATE data structure while exerting an update pressure. Then we uh, generate the packet trees and download it into the GPU core and, and execute the date. Finally, we get the result. Here, we want to optimize two parameters. The first one is latency. As we know, usually when we use GPU, we uh, use the batch size date to uh, feed GPU. However, this kind of processing style will bring extended um, uh, latency. So here we want to minimize the uh, latency from point A to point B. That's the boundary between the PC and GPU and uh, cover the PC, PCIe bus. Uh, certainly, a larger batch size will, uh, got, will get a high throughput. However, it also increases the latency. <coughs> the small batch size will uh, reduce the latency. However, the throughput will uh, drop accordingly. That's not what we wanted. What we wanted is we want to get high throughput while achieving small latency. So how can we uh, reduce the latency while achieving uh, high throughput? Here, we will change the program style uh, for uh, a GPU um, uh, platform. Traditional sequentially executing the data will uh, bring uh, longer uh, latency. So in our design, we make a, a pipeline parallel uh, execution mode between uh, copy engine and kernel engine. In this way, we can keep the kernel engine work conserving to uh, increase the uh, support. Certainly, when we increase the number of streams, we definitely can reduce the latency. However, the uh, support will accordingly uh, drop. So we want to uh, get the maximum support while 
while we want to uh, reduce the latency. So we need to do more. So another uh, parameter we want to optimize is the memory access. Uh, we want to uh, improve the memory operation within the GPU memory. Uh, generally, GPU uh, operate in uh, SIMD mode uh, with uh, data granularity of WAP. Each WAP consists of 32 threads, and these threads will be operated synchronously. Again, GPU will divide its memory into different blocks. Each block has 128 uh, bytes. Given these conditions, we have two options. First is we store the name in uh, in a uh, horizontal manner, as shown in this figure. In this way, we need 32 memory access to get the whole name. The another option is we uh, store the name uh, in the vertical manner with the interweaved uh, layout. In this, uh, in this manner, only one memory uh, access is enough to get the whole name, so saving the memory access. Uh, experimental result, uh, as I mentioned, we use the general server plus the GPU board. Uh, we use two tables, one is three meeting, uh, it's public available, another is 10 million, it's crowded by ourselves. And we use uh, packet trees uh, by average workload and high workload respectively. Our experimental results show, com uh, comparing to the STT table, uh, our proposed MAT can uh, compress the memory occupation by 130 and 140. 42 respectively for uh, 3 uh, million table and 10 million table. Again, we uh, examine the lookup speed. First, we uh, make a small table for testing. We can see uh, we, compare, uh, we compare four uh, operators, that's STT, ATE, MATE, and MATE with interleaved mode. We can see the first two operate uh, can uh, have longer latency while lower uh, throughput. The MAT can obviously improve throughput while keep small latency. Um, again, our proposed uh, MAT, MAT and W can um, greatly uh, increase the throughput. And the high workload show the similar result. Uh, again, we are uh, uh, running the large tables the result shows a similar uh, behavior. Thus, the MAT improved the throughput much while keep small latency. And also, we uh, uh, run the scalability test. First uh, is the lookup speed. We can see, despite of the size of the table, uh, we can achieve stable lookup speed. Again, the memory size, uh, the memory will uh, naturally increase as uh, the table size increase. For the uh, latency, it's, it is similar. Uh, the latency is, keep, is keeping steady uh, in spite of table size. Also, we uh, do experiment uh, about the lookup, uh, the update. We can achieve more than 30K in 30 per second and achieve nearly 600K at this uh, deletion per second. So we can achieve very fast update. So let's uh, uh, conclude my work. So in uh, my paper, we have proposed a kind of uh, smart uh, algorithm and, and this structure is called MATE, which can greatly compress the memory occupation while increasing the lookup speed. And we uh, implemented uh, our system uh, for our core uh, uh, our lookup core engine and two um, um, good result. The experiment that show that our uh, core engine can achieve more than 100 gigabit per second the wire speed lookup while uh, with strict latency limitation less than 100 microsecond and the memory uh, reduction ratio can r reach up to more than 100 times and the results show uh, we can get a good uh, scalability. Okay, that's the end of my presentation. Thank you very much.
Uh, hi, I'm Dong Zhou from Carnegie Mellon. I have a question for you. So in your evaluation, you did all the experiments on local machine without touching the NIC or the over the internet interface, uh, network interface. Uh, so is, do you think that's a fair comparison with other processing systems? Yes, it, it does compare fairness. You see, uh, as mentioned, we only uh, implant, implement a core local engine uh, which uh, does not include the interface, giving uh, a whole system is too complicated. So for a whole system is our next target. Uh, although uh, we have clearly built a uh, lookup engine which uh, involves CPU and GPU together, so uh, that's uh, already well uh, address our uh, lookup issue. Oh yeah, and uh, another and the next question is so if you do uh, uh, like serving queries over the network, it, like the packet I/O, we take where it costs you a lot of CPU cycles. Do you think the like your system can still serving the whilst being lookup uh, in such situation? Yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. If we want to build a whole system, including an I/O system, we need to uh, uh, by means of other hardware. Uh, 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 acceleration, I think. Okay, thank you. Uh, Chuck from NEC Labs, Princeton. Now, one of the assumptions behind this work is the entire state table is residing on the GPU. I, I wonder if this uh, is possible as the tables get larger because the GPUs have a finite amount of uh, main memory. Uh, yes, yes, you're right, you're right. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, HC's expected the CC name table would be uh, more than 100 million entries. However, in our experiment, uh, the maximum table size is only 10 million uh, entries. Uh, although, uh, or, or, although uh, we, um, in our system, uh, there are two processor chips in our CPU board. Currently, we only use uh, one of them, uh, and the memory occupation is only about one third of the local GPU memory. So, according to this calculation, we can use uh, we can support about 60 million uh, entries uh, name table. Uh, further, about another uh, the new uh, announced GPU uh, type, which is um, 690. It has double uh, memory size. So according to this, we can support up to 120 million uh, table. So uh, it is extensible. Yeah, thank you. I perhaps had one final question myself. Uh, perhaps I, more, more of a clarification, the multi-ATA table you talk about, Yes. Um, it looked like if you, know, you had a collision on the first one, you then mapped it into the second table. Yeah. Um, the next slide, you seem to suggest that uh, all these lookups only require one table access. Uh -huh. Isn't it the case that you would actually possibly need to look in both of your multi-ATA table? No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, uh, given the time limitation, okay. I have already uh, omitted the details for uh, the proof, mathematical proof, uh, uh, for, the, uh, for the small table lookup. Actually. We, uh, we don't need to search the second table, and we can guarantee um, uh, each, uh, each prefix can find its right place in the small table uh, without confliction. Okay, and did you consider, I mean, I was just wondering if it, how it would compare to other uh, hash data structures like cuckoo hashing that actually are designed for, to have very small, um, uh, actually, it's not. Uh, it's uh, not hashing. It's small. Uh, it's simple op uh, operation only by, by uh, the mode, yeah, the okay. mode, length of the size. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, one more question, Gunsu Cornell University. So, um, 
it, it strikes me that, uh, so first of all, it strikes me that if there are any GPUs that are, uh, that are actually available for this kind of thing, they're more likely to be used for mining Bitcoin than, uh, than actually for, uh, for doing long, longest prefix lookups. Um, but I'm curious, if we were to go to a future where we are doing CCN routing and we are redesigning the entire routing infrastructure, would we not be building into the whole system some security such as self-verifying names? And if we were to do that, would the design of your system change? Uh. So to my understanding, your question is related to the security, name security, right? Right, I saw no, nothing in the design that uh, admits security, and I think that's a bit of a mistake. So that's one of the biggest problems with DNS is that the security uh, architecture is so broken. Okay, uh, I personally think this is a good question. However, uh, in our uh, work, we are not take the security into consideration temporarily. Yeah, maybe next, and next that said, yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you.